Morning, y'all. You ain't gonna believe this. Let's go outside. Morning, buddies. You guys are wild this morning. It finally happened. Finally happened. Whew. Freaking snowed. Not a lot, but the mountain doesn't matter. It snowed. The good thing is the rooftop deck system came in literally yesterday evening. This company named Bison down in Denver, Colorado makes it. And there are all these little two foot by two foot wooden planks and these little plastic pedestals. And the wooden planks sit on top of the plastic pedestals and you adjust the pedestal, you spin it to adjust the height of the deck. That is our big project this weekend. I'm gonna be installing that rooftop deck myself. The catch is it weighs 4,700 pounds. I have to get all that up on top of that house. And this thing only holds 500 pounds. And I'm like, you know, whatever, 170. So it's gonna take me a whole bunch of trips up, like probably 30 or 40 trips. But we're gonna get it up there and get it going. First thing we're doing though, we're gonna go to the gas station because uh, she needs some fuel. So let's fire it up. I got this lift from Highmark Rentals. I'm not sponsored by them or whatever, but uh, I had to pay with my own money, but it has been awesome. They're the cheapest place in the state I can find to rent and uh, super reasonable for the work this thing is doing, getting us up there. But anyway, um, this is the last week with Sam helping and, uh, and I'm gonna be completely on my own for the entire rest of the house. So. And luckily the house isn't too far away. It's got like a 17 gallon tank about and for diesel it kind of goes through fuel pretty fast it's not as efficient as i thought it would be but the work it's doing for us is incredible so yeah check out the snow up there it's literally almost completely down to the ground it's coming So I jumped on Facebook Marketplace the other day. Got a brand new tub, nice and cheap. Pretty cool, save myself, I don't even know how much, hundreds of dollars, but that's kind of a low step tub, so it's easy to step into, and you don't waste a ton of water if you take a bath. I'm gonna have uh, one of my friends, Rachel, come in and do some tile work. She's a lot more talented than, than I am at that stuff, so um, I'm gonna do a really cool kind of blue tile in the background and do a glass shower door. And uh, there'll be a closet right here where all the plumbing and stuff is. We're moving on to putting plywood under the big wing out here. We're gonna basically finish the last of the siding on the house, the soffit on the house. It's right out here. And uh, this is what I call the wing, obvious reasons. The gigantic wing that covers the stairs and the entrance and all. And uh, I don't want to leave it like this. I'm going to finish it. So we're going to do this really nice. Do you want to live in a groove with stuff? Same stuff that's in the soffit up there. And uh, put that under here. Make it look good. It's coming along pretty well, though, as you guys can see. I'm just about ready to start on the inside. I am freaking stoked. So next big thing, we're going to be getting the old Blaze King wood stove hooked up. And uh, running the chimney up and out. And then we'll be able to heat this place. So I can start working on the inside. That's what's going on. And this boom has been an absolute lifesaver. And not just any normal boom, but the articulating boom with all the different arms like that. Just really helps you fit into weird spots like we are just working all up under the middle of that. Wouldn't have been able to work out with a different lift. And just like that, the stuff is complete. We just finished. Got the wing all covered up. It's pretty good.
Hello YouTube, today we are approximately 45 feet in the air on the boom lift. <laughs> A long ways down. We are going to put on the metal roof. Of course it's nice and slick up there. And we're gonna do the fascia boards here and the metal trim over the edges. And this is the only way to get up here. Like you can't build scaffolding 45 feet tall. You could, but it'd be sketchy. So we're up here on the rooftop deck. We get this front fascia board on. Doing some sketchy cranery right now. <laughs> I wonder, uh, will that elbow clear it if you swing around or not? I'm worried it's gonna hit the stop. Oh yeah. Or you can drop the big knuckle and go down. That'll pull you away, I think. That thing can be a little tricky to maneuver. Lovely weather, as you can tell. Um, might have jinxed us. At least we got this outside fascia board before it started dripping like that crazy. So as soon as we move around to this side, we're gonna get this fascia board and then we're done with that. And then we're gonna do the metal roof on top of that. It's gonna be extra slick. Tonight, I'm supposed to install the heat tape in the valleys, so I'm gonna put this heat tape down in all four valleys and all around the rooftop drain and the scupper, and I'm gonna run heat tape down into the drain all the way to the outside of the house where it comes out right down there. You can see the water coming out. That way it doesn't freeze in the winter. Since I don't have electricity yet, I'm gonna be borrowing electricity from my uh, cabin right beside this, which will be the rental cabin and this house is done. So I'm gonna run a power cord from that house power the heat tape while I'm uh, finishing out the rest of it. The reason I need to do heat tape tonight is because we're going to start doing the rooftop deck tomorrow and uh, obviously whatever is going to be done under the deck needs to be done ahead of time. Eventually I'm going to be running uh, gas lines some conduit lines out to the rooftop deck fire pit right there the gas fireplace and I'll run power all the way around the house um, that way there's power to do some uh, a band up here or something like that in the future and uh, little party lights and whatever. Anyhow, coming along. Hopefully this rain stops because I can't glue down the uh, heat tape if this is wet. So I don't know what it's gonna do here today. It's not looking good. Oh, yeah. All right, we got it. It's all done. We do a little bit of staining and some touch up. Uh, right now I'm putting on the parapet wall caps, so I custom ordered all this metal to fit over the parapet wall and down the inside, kind of like this. And then the rooftop deck is going to butt up against this. Basically this just protects the rubber membrane from the rooftop deck rubbing and stuff like that. And it's got a drip edge in the outside. So I'm going to come up under and trim this to fit up under it too. But it should be a nice clean look when it's all done. So one of my favorite parts about lunch break is getting a slice of pizza from Coast Pizza right down the street. Freaking delicious. Anyway, a sketchy move. Hopefully it'll stop raining after lunch and uh, Sam and I are going to do the perfect cap. This might be the craziest slice of pizza I've ever had. This is the uh, chicken and waffles. It's literally chicken and waffles crumbled on this pizza. It's freaking delicious though. Who would known? So what we're doing now is gluing the heat tape into place on the roof uh, using rubber roofing strips. It's gonna sit over it like that. And the can hold it. That way the ice doesn't push the heat tape around out of the valleys.
Which one is that? That's going to be our tallest one, right? Yes, this is a 16 and that's a 16. Those are like the two tall walls. Just finished installing the heat tape. So that's how it looks. Goes from this back valley, which starts kind of in here. And that back valley runs all the way towards the center drain. And it also covers this valley and the valley right there. And the scupper goes out to the end. Like that. So that doesn't freeze. I mean, everything kind of starfishes around the drain. Goes in about six or seven feet down into the house. And I'm going to heat tape the pipe since it goes in there. So that's what's up. Now, over on this side, I'll just be plugging this in with a, just an end plug. And that'll hook into power from the rental house for now. So that's how we're going to keep it from freezing. Morning, guys. Huge shout out to my buddy Clint Greathouse, CT Mad Mods. You guys could check out his YouTube channel. And uh, he hooked me up, he works uh, for Stusser Electric, been working there a long time. And uh, hooked me up with some heat tape for a little better deal. Appreciate it, dude. Obviously this is a pretty important thing to get right or else uh, I fry the whole system. So I'm gonna really take my time and make sure I'm doing this correct. And this is being plugged into a GFI protected outlet. So if something is wrong, it should pop before it melts. Okay, that's nice and tight, really shouldn't pull out. Oh, did I mess up? Oh, I screwed up. Forgot to put this through. Ugh. Redo. Sweet. And there we go. It's all wired up and ready to roll. So all we're gonna do is plug it in and cross our fingers that it works. A little nervous, but here we go. <laughs> we got power. Sweet. We got power. It is on. You guys can see how it's glowing green like that. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes and we're going to see. Oh, yeah. It's already melting it off. Look at that. You can wipe off the ice now. Pretty cool. Well, guys, this is it. Sammy's packing up his toolbox and uh, he's done. So I still got a little bit of work to do. A lot of work to do actually on the outside of the house. All the batons and stuff and trim and corners and all. And uh, I'm going to do the inside of this inside of the whole place back it up it's a bittersweet day old buddy sam's taking off it's time for me to start doing everything on my own this is it toolboxes scalping letters all the tools he's out of here if you have any building needs in the girdwood area or an anchorage area check out sam ridgetop builders if you look him up online Solid dude, knows his stuff. And uh, just really thankful to have him here, man. It was awesome. right now is Sam milled all this trim for me at his mill and uh, you can tell it is super dirty I can't stain it I got to get all this off there so I got to clean off all four sides of the boards put them down there and then stain them and put them back over here now I'm also going to do that with the corner trim over here get a little bit more of that to finish up I already stained all that so that's good but we can stain all these too and just start finishing up and I'm trying to beat the snow. There was frost and ice all over the roof this morning. It's supposed to be clear this week and pretty freaking cold getting down to the teens. And uh, here we go. Luckily it's been really windy. 
which is drying the boards out faster even though it almost ripped the tent down I had to take it down but we're cranking away here just staining all these guys here and uh, I'm gonna do those over there well guys guess what we did it it took the entire day but we got them they're all swept off and uh, restacked and stained so that should get us through probably doesn't look like a lot of boards but then it was it took a while to stain all that but anyway those battens are going up here to finish off the rest of the house. Anyhow, um, we go catch the sunset. Call it a day. This is week two of being alone in the project. Sam is uh, off doing other stuff now. He's helped as much as he could, so it's up to me to finish. So we're working on the siding today, this front side. We're gonna go do all the horizontal trim first. And then we're gonna run the vertical buttons after that to get up there. Alright. So the in here. This piece of trim here is gonna run all along the face, covering up this soffit that hangs down. Then I've got a piece of bottom trim that'll push this up as well. So that's what we're doing now first. First thing I'm gonna do is make sure my ends are nice and square here before I hang it. I got our first piece hung over there. And now we're moving on to this piece over here. go all right guys I got it so you can see the outer edge and the underside soffit is all done good to go so now we're gonna do the corners next so we're gonna start on this far corner over here and I'm using this rough sawn wood right here that Sam sawed up in his mill right down the street and I stained it it's good to go so we're gonna make our very first corner here I could do this a really complicated way and 45 bolt pieces at a bevel to where they come out to a point, but I'm just gonna turn the corner since it's pretty simple and uh, just sticking with a kind of simple design here.
there you have it there's our corner so we're going to throw that up and get it on the house This is the corner we're putting on right here. You can see all the soft trim. A bit a while ago, it just runs all the way around. Check it. A beautiful evening out. And our corner trim is done on this one. So we're gonna move on around. Good morning world. It is a beautiful day, but it is very cold. It's about 18 degrees this morning and we got some work to do. Everything's all frosted over. We're gonna be working on the trim today. Yesterday, we got all the soffit, all that trim at the very top of the roof done all the way around. And we're gonna do the corners today and then do all the battens, start working on them. Let's go. That's how it's done. All the way across. Getting the corner piece on here. Pop it up top here. Just finished up all the battens in this entire wall here. We're gonna go move around to uh, the next side. We're gonna Cool, so you can tell we're getting it done slowly here, but uh, it's coming along. So we're gonna take these measurements, get this, and we're gonna cruise on to this side in the corner. And uh, you can see I'm halfway across. So we're gonna start at the bottom here and run up, but you can tell I have not put the corner on yet. So 
I just finished making the first corner right here. It's basically two one by fours connected together. That's gonna cap the corner off, hide that tie back, and then we'll run the battens up beside it. Keep on running that up, all the way up. And there is the corner, all the way up. Good morning guys, it is early. We're here in Anchorage, Alaska, and we're gonna start out the morning at my favorite coffee shop in the world, my favorite coffee in the world, Kaladi Brothers. Let's go get it. Feeling pretty jacked up right now. I haven't had a Kaladi's in a while. Let's see, powerful coffee. And uh, we're gonna load this beam up. That was the last bit of stuff to return for the exterior of the house. Not totally done yet, but we are getting closer. Um, I've got a few more days of the trim work to finish up back on the road. except for just right under there, under the Arctic entry, because I have to insulate that and put plywood up and trim, and then I'll batten up to that trim. But she is done on this front side. Last thing I'm gonna do is the metal box rib siding, which comes in next week. I'm super stoked to get all that on. It's gonna look super good. It's like kind of a dark metallic gray and a copper trim on it. So now we're gonna drive that boom over here boom up and finish this corner up this evening then i'll continue with this whole batten face tomorrow 